this video is about different types of heart blocks so there are three types of heart block first degree heart block second degree heart block and third degree heart block whenever we are looking at an ECG we must focus on P wave the PR interval the width of the QRS complex and the morphology of the QRS complex so these are the basic points that can lead us to the diagnosis of heart block as we all know that the duration between the start of P wave and R wave is called PR interval and its normal value is less than 200 milliseconds if it's prolonged and its duration is more than 200 milliseconds it will be labeled as first degree heart block normal ECG which doesn't have any block so let's suppose it's like this in case of first degree heart block the PR interval will be prolonged and it will be something like this second degree heart block is further subdivided into Mobitz type 1 and Mobitz type 2 Again, suppose there's that this is this is a normal ECG, and these are P, Q, R, S, and T waves. And now I draw an ECG with Mobitz type one heart block, and in this we will observe a progressive prolongation of the PR interval and eventually a QRS complex is missed this is the PR interval in case of the first beat and this is the PR interval of the second beat and we can appreciate that it is somewhat prolonged and in the third beat it is even more prolonged and finally here it is not followed by a QRS complex so here uh, the QRS complex is missed so this is this phenomena is also called Wenke Beck phenomena and it's also called Wenke Beck heart block now this is the example of Mobitz type 2 heart block and there are two ECGs first and second if we focus on the first ECG we can appreciate that this is a P wave and again this is a P wave this is QRS complex again this is a P wave a second P wave and then QRS complex and again first P wave second P wave and QRS complex so every QRS complex is preceded by two P waves so there is a fixed ratio between the P waves and the QRS complex and here the ratio is 2 to 1 and similarly in this ECG uh, there is a P wave then again there is a P wave the third P wave and then the QRS complex and again three P waves and a QRS complex again three P waves and a QRS complex so here every QRS complex is followed by three P waves and it's a 3 to 1 ratio every QRS complex is followed by three P waves again there is a fixed ratio so uh, this kind of heart block is called Mobitz type 2 heart block now focus on this image suppose these are P waves 1 2 3 4 5 6 and these are Q QRS complexes in it we observe that there is a constant interval between 
the p waves and there is a constant interval between the r waves so pp interval is constant and the rr interval is also constant so what's happening here is the p waves pp constant pp interval and the constant rr interval if i just separate the two waves like this they mean that the ventricles are contracting or depolarizing independent of the atrial impulse so there must be a blockage from the atria into the ventricles and it could be in the uh, av node itself or the load conducting pathway that there is complete blockage of the impulse and no cardiac impulse or electrical impulse is transmitted from atria into the ventricles so this is called a complete heart block or in other words third degree heart block thank you very much